last video. Today we're going to be ranking a bunch of spicy Mexican candies. We're tired of people besmirching the good name of spicy Mexican candies, so today we're going to set the record straight. So if you want to know which spicy Mexican candy is the absolute top tier best candy, make sure you watch this to the very end. As Mexicans, we are obligated to put spicy on everything. We put it on our food, our drinks, and especially on our candy. I even keep a handy dandy bottle of salsa with me at all times. I even use it as eye drops. You know we can handle the heat. I'm okay. My lips are burning. I'm gonna drink milk, bro. I fucking pussy you out. In order to qualify for the tier list, there has to be a spicy element in the candy. So if you're wondering why one of your candies is missing, then it's probably not spicy. Also, if we list any spicy candy, make sure to let us know in the comments down below. We try to be very thorough with this list and include every spicy Mexican candy that we could think of. We, we could have easily forgotten so. This is just our opinion, but we included a link in the description so you guys can follow along and make your own list at home. Make sure to comment down below what your favorite spicy Mexican candy is, all right? So the way we're gonna be ranking these is at the very top, we have S tier, which is the top of the top, the very best, those metals, metals. And at the bottom, we have last, which is the bottom tier, the worst of the worst, straight up caca. <laughs> So as your spicy scientist, we're gonna be trying every single candy and putting them on the list as we see fit. So we're gonna start out with las gomitas or gummies. All right, so let's start with the pica presa. All right, these are soft. They are chewy. Also, we got our palate cleansers right here. I ain't gonna tell you what's in here. So wash off the taste on each one. It's water. Mm. This is really sweet. This is good, I can eat this. These are good piñata candies, straight up. These are ones you would fight for. These are all kind of taste the same, so let's try the other one. Pica melon. It says melon, but it's a sandia on there. He's wearing a watermelon on. I think I might like the watermelon one better. They're both good candies, though. Mm. It has more of a punch to it, for real. I really like the fresa one. You like the fresa one more? Let's try the last one out of the pica family. Pica tamarindo. It's a nasty ball of food. It's like covered in this. Yours looks different than mine, man. It's got more coating on it. It's got layers. Like ogres and onions. This so one's the last place for me. Yeah. They suck. No, they're all good. All good candies. I would be happy walking away from a piñata work from any of them. I like strawberry better. Yeah, I like strawberry more too. All right, I'm cool with that. We can rearrange these later at any point, but to start it out, I would say these are solid. They are B. Where do you think? I'll say B right now, because there's so many candies. Let's settle at B for now, and we can move out later, depending on where things land. Man, I still got some of that stuck in my teeth, man. I feel like I'm about to visit the dance after this. Next one will be the Fulparindats. So if you've ever had a pulparindo, this is like a little strip, we'll have those in a bit. These are kind of like the chewy, hard candy ball version. First we'll do the original yellow flavor. Anyway, they kind of look like M&M's, the peanut ones. Oh, this does look like, this looks like a straight up peanut m and It even says P on there. Oh shit, for real? But M&M's have M&M's. M&M's. Ooh, that is soft. Yeah, these don't feel like they're sticking to my teeth like this. But do I, would you put them above the pica fresa? No. I don't think so. No, no, please. No. It's got a weird aftertaste. The watermelon one. Watermelon. That's got a nice green hue to it. What's your melon? I'm carries in this up. Yeah, I'm trying to check the ingredients. Oh, they're on Spanish. They're on Spanish calories. This one doesn't have that aftertaste that the original ones had, but I would still say they're not impressing me as much like these ones. Oh, right. Let's catch one. What do you think, Cameron? These aren't wowing me. I'll do one more. You like the original one more? Yeah. It doesn't have as much flavor packed in like the pica melon for sure. The last one is the red, the spicy one. So like, I like the pulparindos, I think. The red one's my favorite, but I've never tried these dots before. This is probably the best one out of the three. But that's just me, guys. This does look a little menacing. Look at that color. I wouldn't say the other ones are super spicy either. If you have enough of them. We do have a bias, so a lot of this might not be spicy to us. It does have a kick to the end. This one does have that lingering heat to it, but not a lot. I might like this one more than yeah. this one. I think yellow's good. These are still fine candies though. I think I would I would totally be happy if I had these in my, my candy bag and my goodie bag. But I would definitely put them below the pica fresa. So I, I would say let's put these in C. C, for sure. C way. C way. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, nice throw, nice catch. Next we got salsa getty. This is for all our Italian viewers out there. This is like the Mexican version of that, but like not at all. So you got the little pasta right there. You got the ragu right here, the sauce to pour on top. You gotta put all that gooey, gooey goodness. Oh shit. And here's our finished product. Bon appetit, my friend. All right, you wanna do a little Lady in the Tramp? This reminds me of licorice. I don't like licorice. The texture does remind me of licorice. Right? I wouldn't say the taste is anywhere near licorice though. Licorice is like bitter. The candy itself is really sweet. The sauce is what gives it that spicy to it. It's messy. But it's a good candy. I'm gonna go ahead and dry first. <laughs> <laughs> it 
might be better without the sauce to be honest. Oh, you think the sauce is what screwed up? Maybe. It does taste completely different without the sauce. I don't know, now, now that I'm tasting it, it tastes, it tastes very rubbery. That's my gripe with it. So the sauce like Getty, for all the work, seems like a lot of hassle, and the taste is all right. But out of everything we've had, I would say it's probably the lowest. C or D? No C? Yeah, I would say the sauce like Getty out of these three are probably the lowest. All right, on to the next. Serpentina. So thank you. So these are serpentinas. I'm gonna be honest, I've never had these before. I kind of just asked people a list of candies. So this will be our first time trying them ever. So this kind of looks like, this is like a Mexican fruit roll up. Holy shit, for real, dude, look at this. So serpentinas is like a serpent for our non-Spanish speakers out there. It's mushy. This tastes like a fruit pulp thing. I'm gonna eat the whole thing, but I'm not liking it. You should have eaten like a savage one. But when the kids bite into the bubble tape yeah. you're halfway through, I don't like my it. new lowest candy. This is new low for now, yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. It says dulce de frutas. So yeah, so it is, it might be like a fruit pulp. Am I eating healthy candy? Not knowing it? Without my consent? D? D or not that. Yeah, these are good. These taste too much like fruit, which is I guess exactly what they advertise on there, but in terms of candy, not my favorite. Next we have sweet lips. This is our last candy in the goma section. So these straws? These are like those uh, sour punch straws, right? Same brand as the spaghetti. Uh, I thought it was a straw, yeah. I, I like that kind of straw. They're filled, they're rellenos. See, that's what makes it stand out versus the, the salsa getty. All the flavor is inside. The salsa getty had all the flavor in the sauce and then that was too much of a mess. This is good. It's way better. This tastes more like pineapple than anything, too. As advertised, good pineapple. Yeah, yeah well, mm. they delivered. That was the pineapple, now we got the watermelon. You can see it's sprinkled with, what is that, sugar? Yeah. Tea and sugar. It's good. The sprinkles are great, but between the watermelon and the pineapple, I'm gonna have to give the edge to the pineapple. I agree. I agree. Where do you want to put these? B? I said B. I feel like if you leave me with a whole pack of those, I will eat all of those though. Except for Goma, what's next? It's time for the paletas. I'm a fiend and I bite my paletas. I don't really like them, but I'm gonna try. It's all the food paletas. This has been a debate for a very long time. We're gonna determine once and for all to see which paleta is the very best. Predictions, predictions. Personally, I think my favorite one has always been the sandia one. I like pineapple. Let's go with the classic mango first. Packaging. Oh yeah. Piss me off, look at that. Take a tear drum for my fallen home. Luckily, all my homies are still alive. <laughs> well, that's that, bro. I'm buying the f out of it. Silver tooth baby. That boy ain't really right. This tastes just like I remember it, man. This See, I remember all the kids that couldn't take the spicy kid back in the day. They'd take this and dump it in the water until it was, all the spicy coating was off. And then they just eat the sweet part. I did that sometimes, just because I wanted the sweet part. I don't know, you can't go wrong with mango, man. This is still very good. Quality holds up over the years. Mango might be the flag bearer of lollipops. And that spice is there. Yeah, that one has a little kick to it. That's really good. Let's go with the elote next. Elote. Corn. I don't remember the corn one ever actually tasting like corn. Look at that. It's got the little ridges. Uh, I like the mango one more. The spice is better on the mango. I remember the base lollipop being better on the elote. Once you take off all that, I will probably take the corn over the mango. Overall, I'm gonna have to give the advantage to the mango, I think. Me too. This one's just overall sweeter, but still good. I love the corn lollipop. I put the corn lollipop and the mango lollipop above the screen blitz in the A tier for now. Let's do the warm up. This is the one I think is gonna win. We'll see if my memory holds up. I remember this one. I remember scraping the sides off. You could just scrape it with your teeth right here. Oh, I remember biting oh, just, the fuck out of it. You bite every single one of these. <laughs> but this one especially. <laughs> I remember scraping the chile off the edges on these because it would just come off. Mm. Like that, yeah, man. My favorite. Go ahead. Beautiful. This one's going to be S tier for me. I'm not even going to front. But if you don't like spicy, this one's probably the spiciest one so far out of these three. They're spicier, but you're not going to cry. I like it the most out of the one we've tried so far. The spicy coating is definitely thicker on this one. Watermelon and lollipop, S tier. S for sandia. <laughs> oh, this chili is clearing my sinuses. Piña, piña lollipop. I was looking forward to this one. And it looks like a traditional lollipop. It even looks like a straight up slice of pineapple. Oh, for real, it does. It's tight. And it this does. one, unlike the other ones, is not fully coated in chili. Basically, I think these ones you have to lick all the way through to get the yeah. full chili on it. Or, but. <laughs> Your teeth aren't gonna last the rest of this one. It's not a lot of chile. Oh, so if you don't like spicy, this one might be the one for you. It's very sweet. It's good, but I like my candy very spicy. I might give piña C tier. Low B? Yeah. Low B. I just like piña. Yeah, because I mean, other than that, it tastes like that generic grandma candy you get with chile on top. I fucking love those. Dude. Where do I find that shit? I can never find it. I think it's a big variety bag. You know where to find that generic watermelon and pineapple candy? Let us know in the comments. For my friend here. It's like shit, I can only find it in piñata. The pepino one next. Para los que le gustan el pepino, you know what I'm saying? Also, the pepino Gatorade is fire. 
so this probably will be two. There's no correlation. Why'd they make the pepino the most paisa? He's got a whole sombrero Somewhere. and everything. All right, the pepino one is similar to the pineapple one. It looks like a slice of pepino because you can even see the little, oh, the you seeds. can see the little yeah, seeds yeah, from yeah. the cucumber in there. If you don't like cucumber, limon, Gatorade, I don't know what to tell you, man. Get that checked out. The taste is accurate, right? Taste is very accurate. You're, you you bite into this expecting to taste some cucumber, you're gonna get cucumber. You bite this expecting to get corn, it does not taste like corn. This is very unique. There's nothing else they really compare it to. Where do you put it compared to the piña? You like it more? I do slightly yeah, like I it do. more. Yeah. I would put it right above piña, the piña paleta in B tier. All right, what okay. do you wanna do next? Well, you can throw a salad. We got chicken lollipops, and I know that might sound weird to those of you who have never heard of these. See, we got our choice of drumstick or chicken breast. So, bro, this is like a rotisserie, brother. I guess it looks like a chicken, right? Say it looks like a drumstick, please. This one says a la verga, bro, on there. Oh, hell no. Let's try the a la verga, bro, chicken. Oh, bojito rostizado, man, these go hard. This tastes a little more sour, too. I don't know what I'm tasting. It's not chicken, that's for sure. Lemon pepper, my oh, wing. Huh. It's got bone in it! Oh, shit. Nah. <laughs> bone this lollipop. Where would you put this one? It's good. It's hard to describe in terms of taste, though. I think it tastes better as you like get to the inside of it. Oh, yeah. I think this is above cucumber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're putting mango, chicken, pelote. Don't sleep on the chicken. The chicken one was a dark horse here. We got next. Apple. Apple. I'm not gonna lie. Apple is not a very common one I saw in piñatas growing up. It tastes like medicine to you. Yeah, it does. That nah, kind of ruined it for me. Medicine vibes. An apple a day. I don't know if I'm fighting for a green apple paleta at a piñata. You can have this one. I'll say it, it tastes like a poor man green apple Jolly Rancher. Lotus Paleta for sure so far, but what about overall? I don't think it's as worse as a Serpentina though. Hell yeah, no, that shit was ass. But after Salsa Getty? Yeah. I'd have Salsa Getty over this. Apples, whatever. The Chileta Fresa? Ooh, that whole got green on it too. What do you think? It was good. It just tastes straight up like a regular lollipop. I don't taste any spice to it. Yeah, for real. It says there is chili on there? Yeah, it's just powdered chili. I didn't taste any. Maybe it's on the inside. Take a bite, Mr. Keith, man. Nah, I'm not feeling this one right This might be lower than the apple. It wasn't special. Lowest, pa it's the lowest paleta after apple, I would say. Bomba chile. Oh, see. Sí. This looks like a tootsie pop. It's got the shape of a tootsie pop. I remember these being fired because all the chile and the, all the chile powder is on the inside. So this is like the opposite of like a mango one, where all the chile is on the outside, chile on the inside. This is like when, when you went to a doctor that had better lollipops. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't really care about you. Oh my lord! Look at that. Oh, it's good, man. The inside is the best part of it. So yummy. I don't know, where do you put it compared to the other ones? This one is my favorite. Even the sandia ones? It's definitely up there with it. Bro, I actually couldn't this thing. I don't know, how do you guys put it right below sandia? Above mango. We're gonna go A. Bomba chile. Really good lollipop. All right, we're down to our last two lollipops. The classic rocaleta. Packaging looks very professional, look at that. I love rocaleta. Rocaleta is basically, it's supposed to be like the earth. It's got layers. Like you got like the core in there and all that. The crust and the mantle, if you will. Tectonic plates and shit. Science. Dude, even the top layer is good on this one already. And there's still more inside. Oh, it says four chile layers and gum yeah. center. Oh, there's chicle in this? Ooh, I wonder how good the gum is. It's probably generic gum. I feel like the gum in lollipops is pretty crappy. Do we actually have to try every layer? Three hours later. Uh, wait, you can, you can kind of like, Ooh. you can crack off a layer. See, you got it. Yeah, show, show the middle. You can kind of see the layers there. All right, it's so soft. Yeah, it's solid, it's good. I expected a big crunch. This is great, this is true. This is a great live pop. Mm. See, I finished this one too. You do. I put it above the bomba uh, chile. I like the one above my chile too. Oh yeah, the tacky one. Oh, this is empty? Kind of rip us off. Yeah, this one's empty. Oh, money back. Swap me. Kind of rip me off, there's no paleta in here. Inspired by the intensity of takis. Hopefully it meets my expectations. This is kind of like a fun dip lollipop too, where you just like, it's got the powder in there, you just dip it. Oh, oh you can see it looks straight up like the taki stick. But this is the one I was looking most forward to before trying this, because I've never had a Takis lollipop before, and I saw this and it caught my attention. The lollipop itself doesn't have much taste to it, and the powder tastes like tahin. It tastes very sour. I'm a little disappointed. It doesn't taste, I wouldn't say it doesn't taste like Takis. I'm, I'm not getting Takis flavored. The only thing Takis about this is the, the logo and the packaging. Yeah. So Takis paleta, right above apple, disappointed me a little bit. That's it for Las Paletas. It's time for Los Polvos. Let's start off with Miguelito. Now, I always remember Miguelito being a really sweet, nice tasting powder. Oh yeah, that's good. Anything in the polo section is gonna go great on like fruit and stuff. There's no American counterparts to any of these, so. No. <laughs> Salt. I think it's A. What do you think? I like it more than Bomba Chile. Then it's top of A. Is it higher than the Rocaleta though? I would yeah, put yeah. it after Rocaleta. Yeah. yeah. The next one we got, the Pico Diana. It looks, I'm pretty sure it tastes just like this too. Yeah, for real. These look straight up like the same, this is like an orange powder. Yeah, these are these are good, uh, I wouldn't say stocking stuff, piñata stuff. 
Oh, this one's sweeter. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna put this above me, Galita, dude. Yeah. The taste is stronger. There's a, there's a good taste there. Yeah. It tastes like orange, right? Like a citrusy taste to it? Yeah, I'm getting some citrus. What the hell is, who, who is that on there? It looks like, it looks like a peanut. peanut. Yeah, for real. I, I think this is above me, Galito. Yeah, for sure. Neither of these are really spicy, but they pack a lot of taste in there. I like it. I like it more than me, Galito. High A tier. Look what the Asi Rico. These were like a big cash register type candy that you would always try to sneak in into the cart. Let's give it a go. Oh my lord, a lot of came out at one. Yes, yes, precision pouring. Oh, this one's. The limon? Yeah, it's sour. Not, not, not that it's nasty, it's just that sour taste to it. Like that, when you make a warhead face a little bit, I like it though. It's good. But I don't think it's better than the Miguelito though, it's good. I don't think I could take too much of that in one sitting. Yeah. It's good in limited quantities. Put it under piña, no? Yeah. Okay. Así rico. Zumba pica. Zumba hot. These are basically like the knockoff Lucas ones. If you remember the, the Lucas powder from back in the day, this looks just like the same packaging here. See, the red one is the spicier one. It's cool, I might put it under the last one. This one's very similar to, to the Asi Pico. All right, let's try the yellow one. I think I like the yellow one more. This one's sweeter. But I still think I like this one more. Yeah? The Asi Rico? I think I might go Asi Rico, yellow Zumba, red Zumba. Yes. Now, these aren't the traditional Lucas that you might have seen when you were a kid. Yeah, I remember getting in trouble bringing this kind of candy to school because everyone was like, what is that? It's like They thought it was like a kind of drug or something, but turns out they were they probably had a good reason for it because I found out those had lead poison. The reason that these don't look at the original packaging anymore is because they recalled all of them due to lead poison. Why did they have lead in them? That's why I'm not six feet. Thanks, Luca. You may be entitled to count now. <laughs> they basically rebranded these to not have lead. Well, good for them. I remember the lunch lady straight up took one of these from me. They said it looked like Damn, drug. She Even wanted kids. it for herself. I like it more. Hey, Sweet and sour. That's yeah. nice. A mango flavor. I like the mango one better. This tastes like the baby Lucas one. Sandia, yeah, yeah. This tastes like the Sandia light bulb. Mango, watermelon, then chamoy. Low A tier. Low A tier for the Lucas. And last but not least, we have tajin. I know most people use this for fruit, but you can't lie and tell me that you haven't just straight up grabbed a bottle of tahini and just poured it in your hand and just started eating it like that. Even though it says this is not a candy, we're gonna go ahead and ignore that. I would put this in the middle of all the polos we had to be honest. Yeah. It's middle of the line. All right, last category we have is tamarindo. This is basically a miscellaneous category where all the other candies go. Kicking off the tamarindo category is the pulparindos. They're basically like Mexican spicy airheads. All right, let's go with the, the regular original yellow one. These, I remember being really good candy. These are really soft, chewy. Mango. Mango. Looks like a little strip there. It tastes like the mango lollipop. It's like more than the last one. The chamoy flavored one. Chamoy. How would you describe chamoy to people who have never had chamoy? It's like this red liquid that they, I can't describe chamoy, honestly. Describe chamoy to me in the comments. I'm gonna have to give the slight edge to mango. Damn, extra spicy. The red one was always my favorite for this one. Before, I don't think I've ever had the chamoy or the mango one. Mango's getting up there in a lot of categories. Like maybe that's the secret. Make everything mango flavor. I don't know, I like this one. This one is still my favorite. I like mango most. Put all of the pulparindos at top of B. Mango, red, chamoy, and then yellow. At the top of B tier, I think. Yeah. Wanna do the cuchara? Here's the cucharita. It's just basically a spoon with a glau tamarindo on there. But I mean, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Good? It is good. A lot of these in the tamarindo category are the same candy in just different form. And so it comes down to, a, is it the best way to eat it? I can't wait to brush my teeth. I think I'm gonna put in it in C. As they're good, basic, I say that's a, that's a C. They're good. Yeah. Don't throw those out, we need more silverware. Go brush my teeth. We interrupt this toothbrushing to bring you an important message from Not Last. Not Last, because not losing is a victory in itself. Always strive to be Not Last. Subscribe now to avoid being last. Our operators are waiting to turn on your notification bells. Subscribe now to Not Last. Tamales? Want to do tamales? The tamalitos. I'm better than unwrapping a tamal. I like putting my tamales on my tamal after. So yeah, basically once you unwrap the tamal, you get to that little piece of tamarindo. Which honestly, this just looks like the glob that was on the spoon we just had. This is like the cuchara with extra stabs, basically, I feel. This shit messy as hell, boy. This tastes exactly the same as the spoon. I think it's less messy. I'm, I'm gonna give the slight edge of the tamal over the spoon just because I could actually get this all off. I'll put that right above it. The cucharita in C tier. Tamarindos. This is more of a hard candy. The spoon and the tamale ones were pretty soft. But this one, <laughs> it looks like straight up like a piece of caca. It looks like a little dookie right a little there. Turd right here, bro. Mr. Hanky. After a while, these make your teeth really sensitive. 
That's good. Where do you put it? Yeah, I put these in B. These are solid B. These are really good. I like these. I like these a lot. A palebola. Another big old glob of tamarindo here. This is the palebola. It's literally just a chunk of tamarindo at the end of a stick. I'm gonna take one bite. You had one tamarindo, you had them all. Damn. This ain't it for me. No, it sucks? It's just whatever. Oh. This has got that texture where you can tell they have the, seed, the seeds in there. Oh, no, it's not this. No, dude, I, I can't even eat all this. It's not the worst. What is it? I would put this in not last at this point. Yeah. I was gonna say, I even like the... Serpentino more? No, no, hell no. No? But I like the Taki one more. Let's put this in not last. Finally, we're getting some lower tier candies. Well, this is the same brand, dude. So yeah. I don't have confidence in this, the Tamaroca brand. It might be the same candy as the other one, it's just in a different format. Bro, this looks like someone shat in a bag and sold it to me. I think it's better than the ball. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, dude. If you have too much of it, yes. pellizco, not for me. D? E? I don't know, Tamaroca. Step your game up, because these are not doing that well. We have one more Tamaroca candy. The banderilla or the javalina. These have different names. These are those giant tamarind sticks that you see going like drink. Grab one. It's poop on a stick, basically. They're like kebabs. I never eat them all the way even in my drinks. Yeah, I think when I put them in a drink, I just leave them in there. Yeah, it's more of the same. And as a candy on its own, it's not that good. I'd rather have it in here. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, but as a candy on its own, uh, that another one in the not last, I think, category. What do you think? I put it above the palebola, though. Because of the added utility of being a michelada straw, put it above the pellizco. You wanna go with the pelones? Sure. Up next, we have the pelones. These are a classic. I mean, if you've been having any Mexican candy, you know what this is. Yeah, these come in all shapes and sizes, as you can see here. Oh, for the whole family. Yeah. You gotta basically push this up with the force of a thousand horses here in order to get any of the candy out. It's called a pelon because it means hair. So when you push it down onto something. Yeah. Push, baby, push, push. It's a girl. And it's got a moha. And then bam, you get the hair, see? But you gotta really push. That's kind of what sucks about this. You gotta you work this? for this one, bro. See this little guy on the little packaging in there? That's what you end up looking here. And then you just take a bite of the hair and it goes bald again. Queda bien pelón. Hey, you're bald. Oh, that's good though. Way better than any of the tamaroca stuff I had. They know what works. Fucking good, mate. The only thing that sucks about this is just getting it out of the packaging sometimes. Like once you get to the end, you want to lick the whole thing clean on the inside and you got to pull it out. And then that's another struggle too. For real. This is what it looks like on the inside. Look at that. Holy shit. I could put this S. I could put this A. I don't think anybody would maybe put this in S tier. Right after La Sandia Paleta. Where are we going to put it? Final answer. S tier. S tier. S tier. It's been a while since we got an S tier. This is a staple in Mexican candy. My favorite thing is after you finish cleaning this on the inside and out, you can turn it into a little mini cannon shooter, whatever you want to call it. So just take the bottom part out and then you just. That's some S tier shit right there. Oh, tight. Nice. Give us the Lucas stuff. Next in the Tamarindo one is just a bunch of random Lucas candies. I guess we'll start with the Muecas. Muecas are basically another kind of lollipop, but you just kind of grouped it all with the Lucas section here. These are like, if you want to call it like a fun dip type lollipop or maybe like a like a baby ring pop. Baby the, bottle pop. Baby bottle pop, yeah. It's also got the ring too though. It's part baby bottle pop, part ring pop, and part fun dip. Ah. <laughs> yeah, there's like six different flavors, so we're just gonna group these in the interest of time. I would say they're all pretty similar. I kind of want to eat the lollipop on its own and the powder, so I want to eat these separately. Mmm, the lollipop's good though. Just give me this. The muecas are probably better packaged separately. The lollipop itself is pretty good. Powder can be dangerous too if you inhale it because then you start choking like crazy. I put this C. Next for the Lucas, we have gusanos. This is like a very chamoy type thing, it's very liquidy. Look at this thing. This looks like one of those old school, like those oil containers. I can see this not being any, everybody's favorite. Tastes weird. That was okay. Yeah, see, I, I, nice. lo I love it, but I'm not going to put it in S tier for that. I put it after the Reyerindos in B. Above Squinkles, below Reyerindos. Like I said, I personally love them, but I understand if you don't like them. This is Lucas Pelucas. Oh, this is way easier than Lucas, though. I'll tell you what. You oh, it's oh, the dude. Holy yeah. shit, this man got dreads now. This is like Lucas's version of the Pelon, but clearly, they thought about the packaging a lot better. Here is just a screw on. Look at the motherfucker Apple Jacks. He looks like the cinnamon guy. It doesn't taste the same. No. I like that one more still. 
I do. The taste is better, but I love the packaging on this one. For real, that's next level, dude. Yeah. I need a collab here, man. I need the most ambitious cinematic crossover in history here. Or just steal their idea. If this had the candy of this, it would be the perfect candy. Yeah, ba based on the candy alone, I have to put this below the pelon. Yeah. A tier behind Mumbachi. Yeah. Pelucas. I even like the name. Pelucas, what is it? A wig, their thing is a wig here. More hair references. I thought uh, at first glance I was gonna hate it because it was a knockoff, but you know what? They went hard with this little screw thing. The Lucas Panzon. It's watermelon flavored. It's liquid lollipop combo. It's hard to open. You kind of broke it. Basically, it's a lollipop, and I think you're supposed to squeeze to get the liquid. You're not supposed to bite the top off. You bit it? Brother, how's it supposed to come out? Did you get anything? No. Oh! Whoa! Smart cameraman. So I discovered you that you have to pull it. <laughs> he discovered Because <laughs> they're Columbus over here. He discovered how to do it. It tastes like the... The gusano? Yeah. Yeah, it's the gusano candy and a complicated ass packaging for a lollipop. The extra steps and the and the whole process kind of turned me off. Hello, let's do that. Let's do it, panzone. My people. Yeah, just put that one in last, not last, because that was the same candy repackaged to be complicated. Lucas Bombazo. I think this is like a chamoy on the inside and then it's got a chicle in it. Cap, you can use it as a little spoon. You can scoop up with a tamarindo right there. How is it? It's just more sour. It's fine. But I like the other one more though. Put it after white grass and C tier. Yes, yes, yes. I was going to say C tier. And they try to get fancy with the packaging and added extra steps to it. Lucas, you really got to make me work for my candy here. Finally. Last but not least, for the tamarindos and all the candies overall, this is our last candy. The pulpa de tamarindo. Now, I think we deliberately left this one for last because I remember this one being very bad. It's butt cheeks. We're not going to hold our memory to it. We're going to actually try it out. Flesh part of fruit. The flesh part of the fruit. That even sounds gross. We purposely left this one for the very end because we thought this one would be the worst candy, but you know, we've had plenty of other crappy candies today. So this may be the worst. This might not be. We'll see. I might be misremembering it or I might have just had a bad one back in the day that it put me out. Looks like sewer sludge. <sighs> Here goes nothing. For real. I'm going to tell you. Texture, dude, right away. Yeah, bro. That sucks. This, this is fucking too much. What the fuck, man? Mm -mm. The, mm -mm. No, I was right. This shit sucks. I think we found our last. Do we have any more serpent? Oh! That's why I'm pissed Let's come down to our worst two candies here. I'm squeezing it and I feel like it's stabbing into my hand. Candy shouldn't do that. Yeah, it's it's the it's all the extra work in this one that I don't like. I have to like pick apart what I get to eat, and that's yeah. and that's a no for me, dog. It seems like our memory's pretty good because they tasted shitty back then, and they taste like shit now. Last place. And you know where last place belongs? In the trash. So our final list at the very top we have sandia paleta, pelon, and rocaleta. And if you're wondering. Where's my mazapan? Where's my duvalin? Again, this list is exclusively spicy candy. If you want us to make a list with just sweet candy, leave a comment down below and we'll make it in a future video. All right, if you agreed or disagreed with our tier list, make sure to let us know in the comments down below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And check out some more of our content. We'll see you over there. For this candy, we're only including... <laughs> For this candy, we're only including a list. Make sure to comment down below what your favorite Mexican <laughs> I got, I got that. What's your favorite Mexican person? Is that I? Is that is that I, I too much? I, I, I. I. <laughs> from <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>